Hi and welcome back to my channel if you've watched one of my videos before and if you haven't, welcome to my channel. On my channel I show you how to solve various different problems every week at Monday 5pm is when the videos go out. Now this problem is how to find the blue area. We've got a square with side length 10 centimeters and several uh, line segments cutting across that square making the blue area. Now the first thing I'm going to do, as you've seen in front of you, is label the sides and the key points of that square. From there, I'll just clarify a few things. So there's a couple of line segments that go from the point G, one to the top right at C, so that will uh, split the square into two equal triangles. It is the diagonal, so it would do that. And then there's another line that goes from the point G to the point D, which is the midpoint of the right-hand side of that square. And we have then got another line segment from the top left of the square to the midpoint of the bottom side of that square at F. And a final line segment from the midpoint of the top of the square to uh, the point E, which is the bottom right of that square. Now, I would strongly encourage you to have a go at this problem yourself. Get a piece of paper. Can you work out the blue area? Can you do it in you know, a different way to mine, the same way as mine? But can you do it? I'm going to show you my solution in a second, so yeah, stop the video now if you want to have a go at this problem yourself. I'm going to show you my solution in 3, 2, 1. Okay, the first thing that I wanted to do with this is to put on uh, the angle at the top right and label some side lengths here. So I'm going to focus specifically on this right hand side triangle, B, C, E. And I've put the lengths on there, so 5, 5 along the right-hand side, total of 10. And then along the top is a length of 5. Now, after I've got the 45-degree angle, which must be 45 degrees because the diagonal is going to bisect the 90, I then want to start looking at this angle. And the reason I'm looking at this angle is for a couple of reasons. It will allow me to hopefully work out the area of this BCK triangle, but also it will give me the angle at point E, D, E, I, but I'll come to that later on. Now, the triangle, B, C, K, how can I work out the angle at B? Well, what I want to do is to actually use the larger triangle, that is B, C, E, and I'm gonna use right angle trigonometry. So that angle, I've got opposite it, a uh, side length of 10, and along the top, adjacent to it, a side length of five. So that angle is gonna be inverse tan of 10 over five. And that gives us uh, an answer of 63.4349. Now, I'm going to explain that essentially, well, not essentially, when I put these numbers on the diagram, I am going to round them. And that is because it would take a long time and be quite messy to write 63.4349 on the diagram with all the other digits that come after it. But I am going to make sure that I use the exact values for my solution and uh, for my working out so that I don't get a rounding error at the end. So like I say, I'm going to put 63.4 on the diagram, but I am going to be using exact values in all of my calculations. Now I can then work out the angle at K, B, K, C. And that's pretty easy because it's 180 minus 45 minus the angle I've just worked out. That gives an answer of 71.5650 dot dot dot. You're going to get tired of me saying dot dot dot. And I'm going to put that on the diagram. I'm going to put these angles over to the left hand side just to keep them away and free up some space. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is use the sine rule to work out one of the sides. OK, so five over the opposite sine of the opposite angle, 71.56 is equal to KC. That's the side length I want to work out over sine of the uh, over sine of the opposite angle. Yeah. OK, so 5 over sine 71.56 dot 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 is equal to KC over sine 63.43 dot dot dot. Now, manipulating that by timesing both sides of that equation by sine 63.43 dot 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 will give me KC. Now, that will give me an answer of 4.7140 dot dot dot. So I'm going to put that on my diagram and I'm going to tidy all of this up and put the side length over to that left hand side again. Now, I'm ready to work out the area of triangle BCK. I've got everything I need because the formula that I'm going to use is not the one that you're taught 
in the early years of secondary school, but the one that you find out probably in you know year 10, year 11, half AB sine C for non-right angled um, triangles. So that is a half times by one side times by the other side times by sine of the angle in between those two sides. So a half times five times 4.71 dot 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 times sine 45. That gives an answer for triangle BCK of eight and a third, which is pretty neat because it's a whole, well not a whole number, but it's an exact value and it's gonna hopefully make the answer a bit nicer because it should be hopefully, fingers crossed, an exact value as well. Right, so let's tidy all of that up. And what we are now gonna look at is the triangle at the bottom right, DEI. Now we've got a right angle at D or EID. Now that must be a right angle because I've got a straight line going from B to E and I've got a right angle on the other side. And so angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees minus the 90 gives us 90 on the other side. Now the next thing is to work out this angle, the angle at E or IED to be specific. And I can work that out pretty easily by looking at the big triangle BCE and doing 180, take away 90, take away 63.4349. That gives an answer of 26.5650 dot dot dot. So I've now got that angle, I've got a right angle, I've got one side. What I can now do is use right angle trigonometry. So using 26.5650 dot dot dot, I have got a side length of five, that's the hypotenuse, and I wanna work out the adjacent. So that's I to E. Adjacent and hypotenuse is cos. So I get cos of the angle is adjacent, i.e. over five, which is the hypotenuse. Times both sides here by five, and I get cos 26.56 dot dot dot, times five is equal to the length that I want, which is 4.4721 dot dot dot. Putting that on my diagram, I then want to use half AB sine C again to work out the area of that triangle, and that's gonna be a half times five times 4.47 dot 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 times sine 26.56 dot dot dot. That gives an answer of five, which is another uh, exact value, which will definitely make my answer now a bit nicer. It's gonna make it an exact value, which is good. I don't know why I say that's good. I just feel like it's good that it's an exact value. It feels nicer. I don't, I don't know why. Now, I then need to work out the area of triangle BCE. That area is a half times 10, which is the height, times the width, which is five, gives, again, another nice answer, exact value of 25. From there, it should be pretty easy to get this blue area now because I'm gonna do 25 minus the area of DEI, which is five, minus the area of BCK, which is eight and a third, gives an area of 11 and two thirds centimeters squared. If you enjoyed that problem, or if you were able to do it yourself, uh, show me down in the comments below the way you did it, especially if it was the way that was different to mine. I really enjoy reading your comments. Um, and if you enjoyed the video, please consider dropping a like on the video down below. I really appreciate all the support and all the views and all the likes from everybody, especially over the last few weeks. Uh, last weekend's video, or last week's video, I should say, got a lot of views, which I was very appreciative of. Now, if you're someone who uh, was able to get the solution quicker than me, fantastic. Uh, doesn't always mean it's better. I mean, that's up for debate. Is it better if it's a quicker solution? Or is it better if it's a solution that's easier to understand? Let me know what you think. Is it always a better solution if it's quicker necessarily? Let me know what you think down below. I think the better solution is the one that's easiest to understand. And there will probably be many solutions, many different ways of solving this problem. Like, I've, like I keep saying, let me know down below if you found a different way, because it'll be helpful for me and for other people. And the final thing I wanna say, Thank you for watching. Like I've said, like I've just said, I really appreciate it. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel and you watch my videos regularly, or this is the first time you're watching one, if you've enjoyed it, please consider subscribing to the channel because that really helps me out. Uh, I wanna get to a thousand subscribers as quickly as I can. 
you know and hopefully people watching if you subscribe you can help me get there like i say thank you for watching and i will see you next week monday 5 p.m for another problem solving video till then bye bye